Let's talk about the difference of metal additive manufacturing versus traditional manufacturing. In my mind, it comes down to three main categories. The first category is tooling or fixturing. This is really dealing with upfront costs. The second main category is with lead times. How long does it take you to get your first part? And the third category is minimum order quantities. And in all three of these categories, additive manufacturing really shines. With the first category, what we're talking about is upfront costs. You don't have to invest $50,000, $100,000 into tooling with metal injection molding, for example. You order the first parts and that's all you pay for. Similarly, with CNC machining, for example, you have fixtures that you have to buy, setup and uh, programming that you have to pay for. With additive manufacturing, you don't have any of this. You're just buying the first part. Lead times is one of the areas where additive manufacturing really shines. I mean, with metal injection molding, we're talking lead times of four to six months before you can get your first part. With additive manufacturing, it can be in days, or at worst case, weeks before you get your first part. I mean, it's just a different world. The third main area is minimum order quantities. And when you go to traditional manufacturing like metal injection molding, it takes them a lot of effort and time to set up and to tune their tool to start making good parts. As a result, what they do is they say you have to order a minimum of 5,000 pieces or 10,000 pieces. And this is another area where additive manufacturing and especially 3DO can really shine because we don't have any minimum order quantity. You order on demand as you need the parts. What's really interesting is when you compare additive manufacturing to traditional manufacturing. With traditional manufacturing, the more complex the part, the more complex the features or the geometry, the more expensive that part becomes. With additive manufacturing, the cost curve, regardless of complexity, is pretty flat. So it doesn't really matter how complex the part is. What does that mean? That means additive manufacturing really shines when we're talking about complex parts. The more complexity in the part, usually the more of an advantage, economically speaking, additive manufacturing has over traditional manufacturing, especially with 3DO's breakthrough technology.